Hey, welcome to my channel Technologies in Industry 4.0. In this video, we will discuss how an RNN can be trained to map an input sequence to an output sequence that is not essentially of the same length. Introduction Encoder-decoder sequence-to-sequence models are famous for diverse tasks. These models are a distinctive class of recurrent neural network architectures. We often use them to solve complex language problems. For example, machine translation, video captioning, image captioning, question answering, creating chatbots, Text summarization, encoder or decoder sequence models. In this video, we will discuss how an RNN can be trained to map an input sequence to an output sequence that is not essentially of the same length. Description The key idea behind the architecture of this model is to allow it to process input where we do not constrain the length. One RNN would be used as an encoder, and another as a decoder. The output vector made by the encoder and the input vector provided to the decoder will take a fixed size. Though, they do require not them to be equal. The output made by the encoder may either be given as a whole chunk. Also, it can be related to the hidden units of the decoder unit at every time step. How the encoder-decoder sequence-to-sequence -sequence model works we will go over the following example in order to completely know the model's fundamental logic. Encoder or decoder sequence models. Encoder. This is a stack of many recurrent units. LSTM or GRU cells for good performance. Each accepts a single element of the input sequence. It gathers information for that element and spreads it forward. An input sequence is a group of all words from the question in the question answering problem. Every word is denoted as x underscore i where i is the order of that word. The hidden states h underscore i are calculated using the formula backslash. Encoder or decoder sequence models. This formula signifies the result of a normal recurrent neural network. As we may understand, we just relate the suitable weights to the preceding hidden state h underscore t1 and the input vector x underscore t. Encoder vector. Encoder vector is the last hidden state. It is produced from the encoder part of the model. It is computed using the formula above. This vector objects to summarize the information for all input elements to support the decoder make correct predictions. It performs as the first hidden state of the decoder part of the model. Decoder. This is a stack of numerous recurrent units where each guesses an output y underscore t at a time step t. Every recurrent unit receives a hidden state from the preceding unit. It yields an output in addition to its own hidden state. The output sequence is a gathering of all words from the answer in the question answering problem. Every word is denoted as y underscore i where i is the order of that word. Any hidden state h underscore i is calculated using the formula. Encoder or decoder sequence models. As we can realize, we are just using the preceding hidden state to compute the next one. The output y underscore t at time step t is calculated using the below formula. Encoder or decoder sequence models. We compute the outputs using the hidden state at the current time step organized with the relevant weight W, S. Softmax is used to generate a probability vector. This will support us to find the last output. For example, the word in the question answering problem. This model can map sequences of different lengths to each other. As we can understand the inputs and outputs are not correlated. Their lengths may differ. This unlocks a complete new range of problems. That may now be solved using such a structural design. 
For more details visit https colon slash slash www.technologiesinindustry4.com slash 2021 slash 12 slash encoder dash decoder dash sequence dash to dash sequence dash models dot html.